statistics. Facebook. Okay, um, a few weeks back, a, week, a couple, a few weeks back, a couple of weeks, just back a bit. Uh, you know those polls we all love. Facebook people. Well, we do a few of them, but you know they do polls. You know, that's that's always been one of the options you've got when you when you do a post. You can you can do a poll in a group or something. And um, there was a poll in one of the the. the uh, one of the superhero comics groups, which Batman movie is the best, essentially, or work, something to that effect, which is the best Batman movie, and uh, statistics, you know, I mean, I think the Dark Knight probably was the one which was ruling or something, um, and, um, I think it was the Dark Knight, or it might have been Batman vs. Superman, they were obviously the big two, and Batman was getting run. But stuff like the Dark Knight Rises hardly had a vote, and um, you know, the lesser ones hardly a vote. You know, and so, so, so we know that. Look, you know, I mean, out of your top 100 artists, you know, so many got the number one's got all the votes, and number 100 hardly any votes. But um, create a bigger pool where there's, you know, that was like for the Batman thing. That was like. Maybe a 50, 60, 70, 100 people had voted so far. But if you turn that to uh, 100 million on the Batman movie, and I suppose there might have, there's maybe that many have seen a Batman movie on TV or on DVD over the years. Maybe 100 million, possibly more. Um, a lot of people have seen a Batman movie. But if you turn it to um, that many, then. Uh, the, the sample will be probably about the same uh, of, of favourites. Statistical percentages will be about the same. But obviously, for something like The Dark Knight Rises, well, it's going to rise to out of 100 million, maybe. I don't know. Maybe a few hundred thousand, maybe. Whatever it gets, whatever percentage it gets. But that's a lot more people whose favourite movie is The Dark Knight Rises out of all the samples. Still small, but uh, with a much bigger population, I suppose, much bigger amount, there's more people whose that is their favourite. Okay. Now, let's look at Harry Potter. Um, huge millions of Potterites who love Harry Potter. Well, they've probably all got their favourite book. Well, not all of them necessarily, but probably favourites, but a lot, of, a lot of them I'd imagine would have a favourite book in the saga and so forth. And that's, that's the big one on fanfiction.net, from fanfiction. It's Harry Potter, I think, and then Twilight, usually second or something like that. Hunger Games, usually third. Star Wars makes it somewhere along the line. And, um, but a huge amount of people's favourites is Harry Potter. Whereas when you come right down to something very minor like, I don't know, I mean, uh, uh, Ray Bradbury's. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451, or whatever it's called, uh, might not even have any fan fiction. It's very low, probably, that one. Might be a bit on that, but very low. Or uh, Hardy Boys, they're sort of okay. There's a little bit of popularity in the Hardy Boys. But uh, ones right, way down the list where there's hardly any favourites. I'm making a point on this. Now, um, in terms of the actual books, which have been... Oh, I'll do it with a CD. Here we go. Great White's Full Circle. Great White are a hard rock band which started, I think, actually possibly in the late 70s, but maybe the 80s. I, I can't remember for sure. I think I might have read that, but I can't remember for sure. But I think the first album probably came out in the 80s. But I'm not 100% not sure. But they're a hard rock band have been around for a while, and their last two albums were by a new singer. A new singer. The first song... Singer, I think it's Jack Russell, did about oh, a dozen or so albums, quite a lot of albums, and then they finally parted ways and got a new singer. And uh, this is the new singer's first or second album. But um, in terms of people who actually know Great White's Full Circle, the amount of people who actually know the album out of out of the population minuscule. Hardly anyone else in Canberra, for example, would have this album. 
300,000 people, hardly anyone else would have it. So the amount of people will know this album, it's not a very well known album, and it's minuscule. Right. But the thing is, if, if the world's population went from 7 billion to 7 trillion, and uh, the product was the product, we still have the same product, this, the amount of people who, uh, who, know, who would have this album would logically, most likely, increase a lot. Now, I'm, I'm driving on something here. With a bigger and bigger sample, eventually, eventually, just about every book and every CD, there's going to be someone who's going to choose that as their favourite thing. So even though The Hobbit gets a lot of votes on the Tolkien world, there's going to be some people who are going to vote for the Silmarillion, aren't there? And uh, lo most of them will probably vote for Lord of the Rings, but some of them are going to vote for The Hobbit. And there will be a few who vote for the Silmarillion. And I guess that the recent one, Children of Hurin, after a while there's even going to be some who say that's their favourite Tolkien. And there's going to be some out of all of the books who say, this is my favourite book, that's my favourite book. Who knows what the top one is? I don't really know. Probably the Bible, actually. But, <laughs> but um, when the population is big enough, there's, there's a... Everything's got someone who's... Just about every book you imagine or CD, there's someone who says, this is my favourite. That book worked for them, or that CD worked for them in, in a way which it just connected. I can imagine at this stage with seven and a half billion, there's a lot of product which it, it won't be someone's favourite. No one will vote for it. But, um... Quite obviously, but, um... Or probably, but... Most things will have at least some people who say that's my favourite. So. Okay. Now, tying this into an idea, I just that's just what I wanted to say, but I want to go on with it. Tying this into an idea that that population keeps on growing, the world's population keeps on growing. And I've done some some basic thinking about how many how many people the world can hold in its current size. Maybe if it expanded in the world to come, who knows? But in its current side, we can get up to trillions of potential. So by that time, books which are old and maybe somewhat established, there's communities on those books and uh, fan bases. You know, Facebook groups, for example, on maybe the getting was my Henry or Handel Richardson's. She might have a Facebook. Group. She might have one now, but in time, she might have a Facebook group and starts to grow because some people that's her favorite book. And I'd like to natter on and nash down about that particular book. And when something becomes somebody's favourite, and other fa other people who that's their favourite as well, they congregate to it. So it happens naturally online, especially. Um, they congregate to it. And it starts building up a culture around that product. 